conversions on my website. We feel very confident in assuming that you are already getting the handle on how to use the Bing Ads dashboard to create your own ad campaigns. We want you to learn the catch behind each advertising goal so you can safely decide which one works the best in line with the way that you want to interact with your customers. In this video, we will guide you through the creation of a campaign with a goal to increase and track conversions on your business website. So let's get to it. Getting started. Sign into your Bing Ads account. Go to the Campaigns tab and click on Create Campaign to continue. Select Visits to My Business Location from under What is Your Advertising Goal to start creating your new campaign. Campaign Settings. Start by entering a name for your campaign in the Campaign Name field. Now go to Campaign Budget and set up your daily budget. It is fixed at $20 by default, but you can change this amount the best way you see fit. You can leave the individual budget option checked if you want to use the above amount for this specific campaign only. Or you can check the Apply a Budget from Your Shared Library option if you prefer to use a fixed budget amount from your campaign library. Click on Daily Budget Options below and select Standard if you want to spend your budget evenly throughout the day, or select Accelerated if you want to spend your budget as quickly as possible. Now select the language of the websites where your ads will be served. Then select the locations where to serve your ads. You can select your ads in your default region, you can show your ads in all available regions, or you can select specific regions in which to serve your ads by checking the Let Me Choose Specific Locations option, and then manually search and target your locations of choice. In the Who Should See Your Ads section, you can select to show your ads only to people in your targeted locations or to people searching or viewing pages about your targeted locations. You can leave both options checked as well. Click on Save and Continue to the next step to move on. Ad Groups and Keywords Now, you have to create your ad groups and your target keywords. Enter the business website address or the landing page URL that you'll use for this ad group. Check the My Website is Not Ready box if you don't have a website or landing page ready yet. Enter your ad group name and your keywords in the Keywords field. You can separate each keyword with a comma or by writing them on separate lines. Some keyword suggestions will appear on your right according to the text on your website address and the keywords detected as names of products and services in the Keywords field. You can use the suggested keywords if you think that they can be useful to target. Use the Add New Ad Group button if you need to create additional ad groups and keywords. Click on Save and go to the next step when you are finished here. Ads and Ad Extensions Click on Create Ad and start by selecting your ad type. Now, enter a website for where you'd like to redirect your leads in the final URL field. Enter a title for your ad in the Title field. You can use the Second field if you need to expand a title. Add short and preferably actionable words in the path fields if you want to make your URL address more specific or if you want to use it to target a specific keyword. Finally, add some text or description to your ad in the Add Text field and a mobile URL in the Mobile URL field if you have one. Click on Save to close this window when your ad is complete or click on Save and Create Another if you want to create another ad. As we explained in the last two videos, ad extensions are what defines the advertising goal of each campaign. In this case, two of the extensions available are site link extensions that will take your customers to specific pages on your site and call out extensions, which will show additional information about your products or services to customers to make them interested in making a purchase or seizing a promotion on your site. We will teach you how to set up each extension for each advertising goal in a following video. So let's proceed by clicking on Save and go to the next step. Budget and Bids You can make additional adjustments to your budget and manage your bids in this section. The Campaign Budget will allow you to reconfigure your initial budget setup if you need to, and the Bid Strategy section will allow you to manage your bids in detail. Use the Manual CPC option to manually set a fixed amount to spend on each bid and use Enhanced CPC to let the system adjust each bid to outbid other advertisers running for the same ad placement. Note that your bids can far exceed your expected amounts if your competitors bid higher than usual for the same placements. 
In the Ad Group Bid section, you'll be able to foresee the estimated number of clicks in your ads, the estimated monthly impressions, your estimated monthly spending, and your estimated average position in relation to your bid amounts. In Advanced Campaign Settings, you'll be able to adjust your bids according to location, to schedule your ads by setting a start and end date, to program your ads to be shown only on certain days and times of the day, and to adjust your bid amounts depending on the device where your ads are served. Lastly, you can configure how to distribute your ads across the Bing Search Network in the Ad Distribution section. Click on Save to finish up.